Good morning. This morning I have a little story about something very small that means a great big deal. He's hiding in my basket. What do you think he is? A rabbit? No. I have just a little... What is he? A caterpillar. That's right. A caterpillar. And this is a special caterpillar. And do you know what? This caterpillar doesn't eat off of many bushes or trees. He only eats off of one bush. He only eats the leaves of the milkweed. And the Mommy butterfly will lay one egg on the bottom side of this leaf. Now this leaf is poisonous. Why would he want to eat a poisonous leaf? Do you know? Did you know that the poison in the leaf that he munches through as he grows big helps protect him? Because if a bird were to come and think he was good food, and grab him and try to eat him, it would give him a very bad stomach ache. And he would say, I don't want to eat that anymore. And other butterflies try to mimic him. And this butterfly, I mean this little caterpillar, will be munching on those poisonous leaves for about 9 to 14 days. And then he decides he's had enough. He crawls down off of that bush and he has to go and find a good place that has a strong stem that he might climb up, maybe a vine, maybe another tree, and he will go up and he will go upside down and take his back legs and he will have to hold on really, really hard so that he can stay there through the storms, through any of the hard winds that come by, and he will take and put a little thread of silk and hang on really tight. Then slowly, slowly, he will wrap himself in this green home that will be his home for another 10, to 14 days. Do you know what? He has to struggle a lot during those times too. And during this time, one by one, little Sal dies. And God changes him one by one till this caterpillar is no longer a caterpillar, but he's a chrysalis and he turns into a green goo. He doesn't look the same at all. He's totally changed. Now God does all the changing of him inside. He has to wait. And sometimes if you see these little caterpillars who are now in what they call a chrysalis form and you touch him, he will wiggle around. But did you know that when God has its right time for him to develop, he will have to struggle to come out of that little chrysalis. And if you were to try to help him, he wouldn't be able to fly at all. Do you know it starts to crack open? And it's a struggle to get out of that little cocoon. But pretty soon, you start seeing something black and orange. He's going to come out all wrinkled, and he doesn't look very pretty at all. And it takes a little time to finally come out. Scientists have tried to break him and help him out, and he will never fly if you help him. But pretty soon those wings will fold out, and then he will pump fluid into those wings. And it may take him about two hours to dry 
and then pump air in there to make him really, really light. And when he's all dry, and the sun dries him, and the air is pumped into his wings, he starts to straighten those wings out. And pretty soon he's going to work on those wings. And pretty soon those wings are going to flap. And those wings are going to take off and fly. And do you know what? These butterflies will go and suck nectar off of a flower. They will mate. They will die. And they will start all over again. But do you know how many times he has to do that to get it to his summer? Feeding ground, he has to do that three times. So the butterfly that starts out in Mexico or down the California coast, he may fly all the way to Canada. He can fly a thousand miles. And you know, airplanes have seen him way up around 11,000 feet. That takes a lot of energy. Well, I have, it was fall time. It was starting to get cold. And during the summertime, she had seen a lot of these butterflies in her yard. But something was wrong. This butterfly is late. He's supposed to be heading south to back to his home. Do you know God gave him three extra months and an extra strength that this last butterfly will fly all the way home without ever changing. God has given him that extra strength to let him go all the way home. Well, this girl saw this butterfly in her yard, and it was fall, and this butterfly is pretty late at going home. He's got a long ways to go, and I'm afraid the storms are coming. Actually, she had heard her dad talk to her mom that there were storms over the mountains and it was going to be a rough flight. You see, her daddy was a pilot. And she thought, what can I do to help? Do you think that I could go ask daddy if he can catch that butterfly and put it in a little box, that he can put it in his airplane and fly it all the way, maybe over those storms and over those mountains? so it won't have a hard time so he can get home safe yeah. well you know she did just that she ran into the house and she said daddy there's this monarch butterfly and he needs to get home will you take him in your airplane and daddy said okay so they got the butterfly net they got that butterfly and they got one of mommy's christmas boxes and they put that butterfly in a box and when daddy got in his airplane and took all those people to California, up over the mountains, that butterfly was safe in the cockpit. He got a ride all the way to San Francisco. And when Dad got to San Francisco, he opened that box, and that butterfly felt the warm sunshine. Where do you think he went? Did he fly all the way home? Down to the California coast, or maybe down to Mexico, where some of these monarchs live? Well, you know, if you go to the coast now, there are several places along our coast that you could see all these butterflies who are now home safe hibernating. Now, what home do we have to look forward to? As a Christian faith, where is our final home? Heaven. Heaven is our final home. And do you know, I can't wait till our pilot Jesus comes and takes us home and takes us over those troubles and over those hard mountains and takes us safely home. Would you like to join me in my wish to have Jesus, our pilot, take us home safely? I hope so and pray so. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, we want to thank you so much for your creation, for the stories of your love and how you protect us and care for us. Now please bless this offering as the children collect it for the school where they can learn of your love for us. Thank you. Amen.